Mm -hmm. Hair. Done. Nails. Done. Brows. Done. Hotel. Trivago. Hey guys, it's a self-care day because if you don't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen? Amen. Now let the music play. <laughs> Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Yao Nerefense, aka your one and only, aka ASAP Yao. Hi everyone, my name is Olorato, love Olorato on Instagram, and welcome to Sister Party! Sister Party! Sister Party! In today's episode of Sister Party, we are sharing with you the really incredible projects that we've been working on. I did an album art inspired makeup look. I spent the day at Levi's with my Levi's family. And I had my first on-set shoot for a New York-based agency. We are back at the Hot Girl headquarters. Act like we never left. Because we didn't. Because we live here. <laughs> I've been looking to stretch my creative muscle and I thought, why not introduce a new segment to the show? Wait, show? Mm -hmm. It's a show. It's a show. It's a show. It's, it's a, a show! show. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some album art inspired makeup looks. Roll the tape! Get ready. Tie the hair back because you know this is not an easy job. You know? Pew 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 pew. Get into it. We ready? Let's get it. So this is not the first time I'm doing an album art inspired look. I actually did Little Dragon's New Me Same Us album art eyeshadow in lockdown level five and they commented on my picture which was really heartwarming, really inspiring. It was really just crazy that they actually recognize and they see what we do. So talk to me nicely. <laughs> I was really happy about that. So I thought, why not just do it? But now let's make it a bit more spontaneous. I'm going to press shuffle on the Lava LaRue radio. Lava LaRue is an artist that we've been listening to a lot in the HGHQ. HGHQ, <laughs> baby! <laughs> so, <laughs> so you guys see me, I'm going to press Lava LaRue radio. Do and shuffle oh okay okay that's pretty that's exciting so the artist is yasmin lacy and the song is called own your own i'm gonna own this look on my own is what i'm gonna do i'm trying this primer oh my gosh this is so crazy this is the first time i get to actually do this and i'm on youtube <laughs> i'm using this primer in this episode of Sister Party, I'm going to take you through the full process from beginning to end of the makeup look. I use this brow powder set from Essence. I used to really enjoy using pencils on my brows until I realized that my skin is actually pretty oily. It gets oilier throughout the day, so the pencil markings would show. I'm just really enjoying like this dreaded clean cut look of brows right now. I'm a big fan of the Candid Range of Revlon. It really does sink into your skin nicely. I use this candid underneath my brows. I'm gonna go conceal the top of my brow with Yardley Stay Fast in color M2W. I just elongated them a bit more. There's this quote that says never trust people that do their brows first and I'm also just like why? So I'm just going in with this foundation i just finished highlighting with the same 060 candid and now i'm contouring with this hey you guys will read this <laughs> um contour stick i'm just an advocate for doing what works for you i'm not really here to tell you that this is right this is how you should do it this is just me and how i do it but i'm open to trying new things i'm just going in with my beauty blender i finished contouring and highlighting now i go in with my favorite girl candid setting powder so it's tinted that's why i like it and then i just kind of just like press it in i do about two layers so i press in the first layer and then i just lightly dust over the second layer so that i'm setting and i'm also just catching any fallout that might mess up the masterpiece Wow guys, I never ever thought I'd be a makeup YouTuber, but here I am. It's super fun. I'm just baking 
this is the blank canvas that I like to start my cool fun ideas on the fun only begins now all of this was just mandatory protocol now this is where the magic happens A couple of years ago, I was a Levi's influencer and I've built a really incredible relationship with the brand since then. I had a pair of Levi's corduroys, ribcage corduroys that just didn't fit me. Like the waist was just too big and they were just too long. I mailed my friends at Levi's Africa and I asked if I could come and customize my pants. <laughs> they said yes. <laughs> Levi's House of Strauss is a place where African creatives can come together and express their creative abilities. They have incredible resources for us to use that elevates the work that we do. There are four of them in the world, LA, London, Tokyo, and now Johannesburg. And it's just a creative space that really facilitates dreaming, imagination, innovation. I showed them a mood board with all of the pictures that inspired me for the idea that I had for this pair of pants. The main inspiration was Y Project, which is a brand whose creative director is Glenn Martins. And what Glenn Martins does at Y Project is deconstruct clothing. And the pair of pants that inspired me had these cutouts. And I felt like it was very, very edgy. There was something very sexy about it. Mm -hmm. But if you style it correctly, yeah. you can also get away with it at the office. Yeah, the placement is really cool. You're gonna see. You'll, You'll see. see. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I showed them the mood board and then we jumped straight into the construction of the pants or the deconstruction in this case. We started out by marking off where we would cut off the shape of the bikini. And then we decided that we we're going to add a contrasting fabric so that I could sit comfortably. The fabric that we decided to go with was denim. It's actually the wrong side of the denim against the black corduroy and it turned out really really cool i am genuinely obsessed with it yeah same 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 so yeah hope you enjoy the clips <laughs> okay William. so we're gonna have to take it in at the waist and then after that like this crotch needs to sit on my crotch okay so that we can do like a, a bikini cut cut yeah okay so what are we going to do now we're gonna give it one extra hour. I will sort out this waist. Once we're done with the waist, then I'm gonna give them back to you, fit them. If they fit you well, then I'm going to open them up here yeah, yeah. and sort out this yeah. design of ours. Okay. And once this design is sorted, we close them, then we put our pants. Cool. Okay. Okay. We're going to cut out a piece of the front like this. Water, courtesy of Levi's House Africa. That's where we are today. Um, and we're just customizing some pants, which I'm very excited about. What's your star yeah. sign, William? Uh, yeah, what's your star sign? It's a Sagittarius. Oh, you're Sagittarius. Oh, you're Sagittarius. Okay. That's so cool. Okay, progress. So, so we stitched that <laughs> and we overlocked it on the inside. Yeah. We're about to stitch this down, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the pants are finally done. Look at how good they look. This is them from every angle. Thank you, William. You're welcome. Look at that. So <laughs> good. I love them. So good. I love them. Me too. Mm. Yeah, walk yeah. them through it. So now I've done um, 
perfect length for you. Yeah. I've stitched them at the side, done the waist for you. Yeah. You placed uh, our tag. You put the, the tag, yeah. the Levi's tag, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. back. Yeah. The waist looks amazing. Everything looks so good. I had the best time. She had the best time. The best time. We had the best time. We had the best Thank time. you, William. Thank you, Ange. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. And on that note, let's jump right back into the makeup. I love recreating editorial looks because you really have the freedom to just interpret it however you feel fits you and your personality and your mood and the style. I love the bright colors and the contrasting colors. For this look, I'll be using a loose powder and the Good Day Sydney Essence Palette. But it's always fun to kind of be put on the spot and just like, I like to use the phrase stretch your creative muscle just to like keep it sharp you know so I, i'm gonna use the orange and the blue from the stack of loose pigments i started with like a nice like brown because on the edges of the album art there is like a brown do you see that do you see how orange that is that's what i want a little bit goes a very long way also with these so let me just start blending chat well, i'm just gonna go in now with this I actually can't talk while I do this, so I'm just going to tell you. I'm going to go in now with this Candid Concealer and do the blue circle. It's not perfect, but it'll just have to do. Yeah, this really is as similar as I can get them. Let's go in with the blue. This really is about to become a pigment party. Look how blue this is. I love where this is going. I just reapplied some more translucent powder underneath my eyes. This is literally sickening. Let me just dust off this thing. This probably looks so messy, but it will all come together. Because I'm done with the eyeshadow, I can now just flick all of this off with a big brush. I'm just gonna use this L'Oreal Magic Setting Spray. <laughs> I'm now just going to go in with this mac global glow guys this thing has taken us very far and you can see that Zing. i need to blend it in obviously highlight here okay lashes on i just want to put a bit of orange at the bottom and guys i'm actually done this is the final look Tell me how did I do? Be nice. Sickening. Sickening is what this is. So I can take out my hair now. Thanks guys for watching. We also have a really big passion for filmmaking. And we recently got a new toy. <laughs> I think we must be banned from doing this. Yeah. <laughs> We're aspiring filmmakers. I want to make short fashion films. She would like to make editorial makeup fashion films. And we we do. We make actually those. make actually, them. We did our first short film. It's called These Four Walls. Directed, styled, written, creative directed. Uh, the list is endless. Go By check it out. Yours truly. And yours truly. <laughs> by Sister Party. By, oh, by Sister Party. Check it out on both of our Instagrams and our IGTV. It's called the Stabilizer for your smartphone and we're just going to unbox it. So we won't do a review, but you will be able to see the growth in our, in our camera skills. In our camera in skills. Our, how the angles change and the transitional shots, you know. We're really into that. We're trying to advance and like roll the tips. Ta-da! So we decided it's time to up our game. And we decided to get some equipment and we got a gimbal i love the smell of new technology <laughs> don't add me mm -hmm. what do Ooh. we have here okay it's a gimbal for smartphones wow. oh my gosh i'm scared i'm gonna break it yeah where's the manual yeah. yeah one thing about me i am gonna read the manual if you are a person that reads the manual please comment down below i'm trying to see something oh here's the manual hello 
Okay. So there's a lot going on in this table right Clap now. Clap hands, let's move the crystals out the way for now. Okay. And this is the gimbal. Even shows you like where to put your phone or whatever. This is the only color it comes in. This is the only color it comes in. It comes with a <laughs> USB adapter for charging. Oh, it comes with a little pouch as well. A pouch. So basically it comes with about one, two, three, four components in the box. So anybody else trying to up there motion picture game we like it i love being in front of the camera just as much as i love being behind it but this time i got to be in front of it i have been in front of the camera before i've shot with a few photographers and i ended up in id i'm still gonna be here so in cape town i got a text from the photographer his name is melanate your mood his work is here <laughs> Melanie, your mood got featured in ID and your girl was in one of those shoots. I was so ecstatic. That was the reassurance I think I needed. It was a great experience shooting with him as well. Yeah, well done. I'm really proud of you. I got to shoot with this photographer named Peter Hugo. He's collaborating with an agency, a New York based agency. <laughs> We're international. <laughs> a New York based agency called Midland NYC. They are doing a book of portraits. So I did that this week and like, that was so much fun. I'll do that. I wish I could do that every day, genuinely. I wish we could get on set every day. Anyways, so yeah guys, roll the tape, roll the tape, roll the tape. So today I'm doing something really, really cool. I am shooting with a photographer named Peter Hugo. I'm going to go do that now. The brief was soft glam, so I hope I nailed it. <laughs> um i just chose like neutral colors because i feel like they look really good with my skin so let's go we're here at sunshine studios i'm about to go on set this is my first shoot on a set so i'm really really excited this is the dream I was trying to live, and I'm living it, so it's really like surreal right now. Um, it's a pretty place, it's beautiful people. Shooting. The shoot was great. I was so nervous. I drank water and I calmed down. I had a lot of fun. I'm so excited to see what comes out. Um, yeah, so that's my first set shoot done and dusted. Uh, I met Bona in high school. PHSG. Look at the trajectory. Look at the trajectory. Look at where we are. We're about to dominate the world. Thank you. Uh, for... <laughs> Say hi. Say in the live. What's up, MTV? Welcome to the studio. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, yeah, please tell us who you're wearing, Miss P. Today, I'm wearing nail serati. Something like, something casual, something for the autumn. <laughs> so, we're here today with Pona Halom, a supermodel slash writer slash stylist and DJ. Thank you so much. What's your experience with this modeling industry in South Africa? It's super grueling, but also very rewarding. I've had the chance to work with the most amazing creators in the country. So you need to have your A game, be a kind person, have a lot of patience. Uh, any word of advice to aspiring models in South Africa? Get yourself acquainted, like, but also don't jump inside. Like, yeah. There's people who can help you, can propel you, can um, improve your skills, learn as much as you can. And take your time, remember that success isn't overnight. Love that. Thank you. Bye, Gorn. That is it for episode two of Sister Party. We will catch you in the next episode, episode three. Make sure that your post notifications are on because we don't really have a schedule for when we're posting, but we do have so much footage that we want to share with you. So turn your post notifications on. Don't forget to like, comment subscribe share this with the people that you love share this with the people that you hate you have no idea how much we love you thank you so much for showing so much love for episode one guys i really didn't expect that we are so grateful we for are it. so grateful for yeah, all the love the party uh, and yeah just keep it coming guys we have to love and leave you but catch us on the next episode we out
before we out as promised on my instagram i'm getting a piercing today because we got 100 subscribers thank you so much guys we really appreciate it so let's go Subscribe,